Encouraging news from the CDC saying, according to a study, Omicron has a 53% reduction in symptomatic hospitalizations. There is also a 74% lower risk of being admitted to the ICU. Most importantly, the risk of death is 91% lower and exactly zero Omicron patients had to be put on a ventilator. Some hospitals are still feeling the strain from the surge. So let's go to our chief national correspondent, Matt Gutman, inside a hospital in Burbank, California. Good morning, Matt. Hey, good morning, Robin. Despite that encouraging news, you said it hospitals under enormous strain. We are in a training space here in a hospital that is filled with patients. Its sister hospital has tents outside the ER to handle the volume. And all of this is compounded by staffing shortages across the country. So severe here in California that the state has ordered all of its health care workers back to work if they're COVID positive but asymptomatic. This morning, amid an explosion of COVID cases nationwide, that stunning new data showing the risk of death from Omicron is 91% lower than the Delta variant. The Kaiser study out of Southern California also revealing a 53% smaller risk of symptomatic hospitalization compared to Delta, 74% less risk of ICU admissions, and not a single one of the 52,000 Omicron patients in the study required mechanical ventilation. But with the U.S. averaging more than 750,000 new COVID cases a day, many hospitals are overwhelmed. In Sacramento, first responders frustrated as patients wait eight hours outside hospitals for beds to open up. They essentially have to just stand there and wait uh, some, sometimes eight hours for a bed uh, to transfer their patient. Tents set up in L.A. area hospitals. We have nurses out there, we have our registration and secretaries, and we have doctors out there that are seeing patients wherever they can because the true physical space of the ED is completely full. Some medical workers begging for people to stay home unless it's a real emergency. The spike triggering staffing shortages with California now ordering COVID positive health care workers who are asymptomatic to report back to work. You think about it, it's insane. And uh, it's insane. It is. It is insane and it's unethical and it's it's not the right thing to do. In Texas, this nurse scrambling to get medical care for her three month old daughter after noticing a change in her breathing. Her temperature just in that hour went from 100.3 to 101.7. The daughter testing positive for COVID and spent the next two days in the hospital. Just trying to make sure she doesn't get worse. But amid the surge in cases, a first glimmer of hope. Data from the Massachusetts Water Resources Authority showing a sharp decline of COVID traces in wastewater, indicating the Boston area could be nearing the peak of Omicron. Now the CDC plans to update the public on which masks work best. Expect N95s to top that list or be right up there. Now, in the beginning of the pandemic, there was a critical shortage of N95s. Officials now promise us there are plenty in production, uh, enough for anyone who wants them, and they should not cost more than 70 cents a piece. Wit. Yeah, a lot of people waiting for that guidance. All right, Matt, thanks. Well, hey there, GMA fans. Robin Roberts here. Thanks for checking out our YouTube channel. Lots of great stuff here. So go on, click the subscribe button right over, right over here to get more of awesome videos and content from GMA every day, anytime. We thank you for watching, and we'll see you in the morning on GMA.